Hey guys, how are you? So I know last week I focused a little bit about uh, talking about investments and talking about trading the stock market and things like that. So just a couple of things for uh, for beginners, for all of us, you know, who um, don't have years under our belt and, and have been wondering if it's something that we can do. There's a website that I really like to go to, and, and this is what I will use to kind of do my analysis in the market. So this is a quick um, a couple of explanations and a little bit of an analysis that I can do um, that I will do uh, always at nighttime or in the morning whenever I wanted to to see what was going to be my my, my trading uh, what, what was my trading going to look like tomorrow so for example investing.com now whenever you sign to a platform whatever platform you're going to use um, I really like uh, TD Ameritrade that's probably like the one that's going to come out as number one when you google it Another one is Interactive Brokers. Um, when I used to do a lot of crypto trading, I used Coinbase in the beginning, and then I moved on to something else. But, you know, um, I remember when I first started trading, I used Robinhood, right? And it was one of the only apps that had uh, zero commissions, right? But there's a lot of downside to, to, to using those kind of... Uh, to using those type of... Uh, it's a, there's a lot of downside to using those types of trading platforms. So that's why I will not recommend them now after a couple of years experience. So anyways, when I go to investing.com, this is just going to be for market analysis. Uh, this is not the platform that I used to trade. Uh, personally, I trade with interactive brokers. And again, I recommend TD Ameritrade. But again, there's many platforms. If you guys have Cash App, you can actually buy stocks. And I'll tell you a little bit about the type of stocks that you might want to buy in something like that. Uh, with an app like that especially if you're not going to be actively trying to trade so anyways you go to a website where you can see an analysis and if you go to the markets let's an analyze the market so the indices right here you have your futures which they trade 24 hours a day um, they have a short break in the afternoon and then they reopen i think they close at one and they reopen at three but anyways uh these are the futures uh, contracts based on the market but let's just go ahead and look at the major indices right and we're gonna look at the S&P 500 um, the S&P 500 is technically speaking the top 500 companies in the United States and that's what this uh, vehicle tra uh, vehicle shows you so when they talk about the stock market they might be talking about this um, also the Nasdaq which is a uh, mostly technology companies and you have the Dow which is mostly industrial technologies but this here is your top 500 companies um, so your top 500 companies are on the S&P 500 um, so here you can go into a chart and this is a very simple chart but what you want to do is you want to go a little bit into a technical chart so you're able to use some of the tools uh, to be able to uh, really see what's going on so the reason I'm picking this is because I want to show you guys how stocks, one of the things you need to know is that they have ups and downs, right? Just like everything in life. It's kind of like a roller coaster. So you need to know what to do when those ups and downs happen and how you're going to be profitable from it. So before you're going to buy any investment or any stock, you want to you want to check out a lot of data. I talked about what is the network of the company, right? how much debt do they have and what is their uh, trading history right what is the analysis the history over time but anyways just to look at this chart this here is the actual market so the market's been going on for a long time right so we're not going to look into how much money is in it right we all know that there's tons of money in it but so what we want to look is the trading history what is some of the things so this chart here gives you an idea of how this is an uptrend right even though there's a lot of ups and downs and some really critical moments that we have seen um that that is not you know the nitty-gritty so you're gonna change this from this here to candles and this is each candle represents uh, the buying and the selling activity so this is a, a one-day chart so if you scroll down you can see that the one-day chart is actually giving you what has happened in a couple of months right so that gives you a pretty good idea what the market has been through these past months but let's look let's look a little bit deeper we can always scroll this way and see but in order to get the bigger picture you could you could zoom out you could zoom in but what you want to do also is you want to go into the monthly chart 
you see this monthly chart this monthly chart shows you this beast this beast right here in this dip over here that we see um, let's go back here you see how there's 2016 this is what happened when Donald Trump became president so in this here we have all of this uh, upward movement that we have seen right um, in the market since 2016 so going here we can see some really really crazy activity this was 2018 and I remember this year because I was trading the market around this time and I clearly remember trading it around this top over here and then the market started to plummet between January and February and then the market started to make new highs so all of this is new highs now obviously here we have we have January 2020 we have February and then we have the coronavirus as you can see there the market plummeted to new to to really really extremely low levels um, when it came to the coronavirus to all the way to 2196 but if you notice here where we are now we're all the way here at the top at 3460 a couple of months later you have the market continue to beast out now mind you that this market has been going on since 2008 which is something that that's no, not normal. Technically speaking, this market should have crashed back in 2012, every four years, and then 2016, every four years, and then now 2020, it should have had a correction of at least 20%. But we have not really seen that. We've been speculating it, we've been, we've been waiting for it, but we have not seen it. So. Um, this P you see here is actually a pattern. There's some patterns that are pre-made. For example, when you see certain candles appear, they represent a pattern. So this here is a dragonfly doji bearish pattern. Um, and this pattern is a bearish. So there's two terms in the market. One is bull, meaning it's going up. And the other one is bearish, meaning it's backing out. A lot of times you notice that in the wilderness, bears will back out. Um, but bulls usually charge you. So this market that we're living over the past 10 years has been a bull market it's almost 12 years strong um, many times they expect this market to pull back so let me show you what i'm talking about pulling back so you see here 1993 1998 we got here to the top in 2000 so all of a sudden the market dropped sick you see this here it dropped in 2002 it started going back up and then you have a market crash again in 2008 and then since then the market has not pulled to that 20 percent drop that i'm talking to you about in 2016 right before the election we do see a drop but it was not that much and and again going back to these past couple of years 2018 we saw another drop similar to this one actually a little bit deeper um, and it was crazy how we were all expecting the market to completely crash. But look, the market completely recovered. And now it is at completely crazy exponential times. My personal theory is that the market has changed. Life has changed. Things have changed. So, you know, maybe the market is not supposed to plummet every four years anymore. So, again, you cannot predict the future. and You cannot assure anybody that their money is going to be safe. So the best thing that you can do is learn how to trade the market and learn how to make this move. So most people are scared of doing this. So what they do is that they trust professionals to invest the money for them. And of course, you guys see many movies where professionals have invested your money and they have lost it. So you could learn how to do this yourself. Um, and there are some safe bets. So for example, when these company, when the market is doing good, Companies like Walmart, Costco, Disney, Nike, McDonald's, um, Amazon, Apple, Tesla, they're all going to be doing great. So if you're trying to invest in the safest way and you're trying to put some money away to save, no matter what, the market is always going to continue growing up and up and up. But it's always going to have some downsides. When the market crashes and goes down, the best thing you can do is to buy some more because what's going to happen is that the market is going to go up eventually it's just the way that it works now if the whole united states economy were to disappear and you know something crazy were to happen and then maybe our market would disappear you know but if if that's not the case um you know that you know if we don't have any fears of war and things like that 
then that's not going to be. So what I'm trying to find here is I'm trying to find um, a profitable stock over time. So let's go to McDonald's. McDonald's trades on the New York Stock Exchange. Um, this stock, let's look at the chart real quick so you guys can see how similar it is to the chart of the market that we were checking out. And you can see that if you invested your money in McDonald's years ago, you would be rich now. Again, this is money that you're going to invest. Like I told you guys, next time when you invest in stocks, that's not your rent money. It's not all your savings. It's not your spending money. It's money that you're putting away. Um, like even if you're not going to put it away for a long time, it is money that is used for trading. So you need it to be able to make more money. You need to leave it in that account to make more money. After you're done making money there, you can also leave your money alone for about seven days. You cash out. It takes about seven days for your money to be available and then you can empty your account and you can keep the money. So again, when you're trading billions and millions, you'll take out whatever you want. Um, but I mean, if you're trading a couple thousand or whatever and you want your money, just know that you're gonna have to sell your positions and then keep the money in the account for about seven days and then you can have it back. So this is McDonald's uh, here. Again, we're gonna go to the month chart, which is a little bit longer. And then we can see how McDonald's has been going up and up and up and up oops so this here in this bottom chart what you're seeing here this is called volume this is the volume of sales and 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 purchases that you have seen in this company so here you see 2012 14 16 this here there's a little bit of ups and down but this is what we would call flat there's nothing much going on this is the there's three ways that the the stock market can go the stock market can go up it can go down or it can go straight or flat if something is going flat you're not making any money so here you see here this was a really slow time for this company uh, if you're trading this you're not making any money at all now from 2015 and on you start seeing how McDonald's starts going up so ideally what you want to do is you trade up to here and you sell your position when when this dropped right here you sell your position and you continue to see what's going on and then you buy around here and look at a look at this run for months and months and months a year passed and it went to exponential so little by little mcdonald's has continued to go up now obviously here we're having some issues when the market started dropping so companies like mcdonald's are going to drop so you see this pattern here bearish reversal pretty much what it's saying is that this whole time mcdonald's corporation has been a bull up until now where they turn into a bear so look at this massive sellout crazy sellout now let me tell you this this here is pretty scary because what happens is that most sellouts are pretty extreme and pretty crazy look how much time it worked it took for McDonald's to get here. Look at all the ups and downs, ups and downs it took for it to get here. But look how fast it dropped. You see that? That is straight up. Look, two months to destroy a couple of years, all the way up to here, which is the low. And then after here, you see all the investors started buying again. And again, and again, getting us to the present price. So that's just an example of how you can tell that something is going up. So you can be fooled by the ups and downs. It's not about the ups and downs. The ups and downs are going to happen. That's the way it is. It's about understanding the company that you're going to buy, the stock that you're going to trade, and the reason why you're going to do it. So why would you trade something like McDonald's? McDonald's has proven to every single person that they are going to last forever, I want to say, right? Um, so because of that they've been able to to maintain themselves right to such a degree that it is a company that continues growing continues reinventing itself and it has a it's of high popular demand um, and of course you have other companies like Amazon that if you would have invested on a couple of years ago you know um, they're amazing so what I'm trying to do I don't know why it's not working so Okay. I'm just trying to show you guys a line. You see this line that I'm building here? This is how you 
how you chart these things. This line shows you here that this stock has been going up, okay? This is what this shows you, that we're on a complete uptrend. So just because you see those dips, it does not mean that you lost all your money. It means that if you leave your money alone, ultimately your money would have made you more money. So you can trade long term and just leave your money there like savings or you can actually buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell every day or every week or once a month or whenever the hell you want. You can easily buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. You can check the news every day. You can check your company every day. You can see how your stocks are doing and you can be like, you know what? There's a fear of war right now. Uh, there's a pandemic going on. Uh, uh, the market is dipping. You know what? Let me sell my position now and let's wait and see and let me buy a lower prices. So that's, an, that's how you can trade this and you can easily do this yourself without paying a broker. All it will take for you is to start educating yourself and do a little research and actually, you know, tune into the news at nighttime, tune into the news at, no at morning time and watch the market a little bit so you can see that unless anything crazy is going on, your money should be safe um, for the long run. So I'll leave you guys with that and then we can analyze uh, something a little bit more heavy next time into some more details. But this is just to give you guys an idea of what it would take and all of this technical mumbo jumbo and all of this stuff you'll get to learn little by little this is part of your training that you're gonna have to do if you ever want to be able to invest so it's an art it's a beautiful thing it's something that it, you have to have a calling for um but you know i definitely want to present it to people as an opportunity because there's there could be a trader in you and you never know until you try all right guys have a great night